This Sunday is, of course, the Sunday and Labor Day weekend, and we certainly hope that all of you will spend some time with friends and family and enjoy slowing down now that we're kind of a month into our fall routines and kids are back in school. We'll still be celebrating the Eucharist here uh, downtown, and you can join us here, or you can always uh, access our services uh, online on YouTube or on Channel 12 cable. Uh, and we'll be really respecting that it is the 15th Sunday after Pentecost, and we'll be uh, doing those readings as well as keeping in mind uh, the Labor Day holiday. So the readings that are appointed for this Sunday uh, both have healing in them. Uh, we have an Old Testament reading that talks about healing, and then this marvelous story um, in the Gospels where Jesus opens the ears of a deaf man using that powerful uh, word, that ephaphtha, be open. And the end of that reading, uh, it says that the people were marveling and that they said that he can make the, the ears of the deaf unstopped and loosen the tongues of the dumb. Those are words that really inspired uh, Charles Wesley to write one of his most popular hymns, Oh, for a thousand tongues to sing, my dear Redeemer's praise. And it talks about uh, having all of that healing that Christ promises us. And of course that text is, has always really been uh, paired with this tune uh, called Asthma, which has some Germanic roots, but really the way we know it is that it was adapted by the American composer Lowell Mason in sort of that rustic colonial American feel. such a seminal hymn of Charles Wesley that the Methodists, who of course claim Wesley as their founder and really their uh, sort of their first saint, uh, this has been the first hymn in every Methodist hymnal that's ever been published. So kind of an interesting tie-in to our Methodist brethren there. Uh, at the uh, sequence, we'll be singing a hymn that really talks about what Labor Day is all about and this idea that Jesus has taught us um, that, that we, are, we can know him in labor and in toil. Um, and so this, this text that was written uh, by the 19th century um, evangelist, Henry Van Dyke, and matched with the early American tune, Pleading Savior, a very gracious and, and gentle tune with these words. over the course of these three very short verses how it works in this idea that, that uh, our, our discipleship, following Christ, makes holy everything that we do, all of our labor, all of our work. And that's certainly uh, something that we can celebrate on this weekend. Picking up on that, the offertory will have Alison Carr uh, singing a solo uh, by Rafe Von Williams. Von Williams wrote a cantata um, uh, called uh, Pilgrim's Progress, and of course it's dealing with, or Songs of Pilgrim, and, and it's uh, all texts from Pilgrim's Progress by John Bunyan. This is a really lovely song that comes as the fourth movement of the cantata, and it's known as the Woodcutter's Song. And it again talks about that idea of pilgrimage and of all of what we do, all of our work, all of our labor being holy as we do it uh, in fulfillment of, of discipleship to, to God. So typical of this uh, idea of the woodcutter's song, somebody who is maybe working out in the, in the forest by himself, uh, the melody is very improvisatory feeling, as if the woodcutter is sort of making it up as he goes. And so it starts off maybe with uh, something of a flute solo or a bird singing. So again, we hope that you have some time to enjoy uh, the Labor Day weekend and enjoy some relaxation as we pull into the fall. And we hope that as you uh, go through your discipleship, that you will always walk with us here at St. John's, worshiping here downtown 
or on YouTube or cable channels.